Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. This is your daily dose of medicine. In this video, I will be talking about iron absorption. Iron is mainly absorbed in the upper small intestine, especially in the duodenum. And about 10% of dietary iron is absorbed. You are eating sources of iron, but about 10% of this iron is only absorbed. And ferrous iron much better absorbed than ferric iron. And absorption is regulated according to body's needs. And this absorption increased by vitamin C gastric acid. And it can decrease by proton pump inhibitors, tetracycline, gastric achlorhydria, and tannin. Tannin found in tea. And mulberries are a type of fruit with a particularly impressive nutritional value. Not only do they offer around 2.6 mg of iron per cup, which is 14% of the recommended daily intake, but this quantity of mulberries also meets 85% of recommended daily intake for vitamin C. I said that vitamin C is increasing iron absorption and mulberries is wonderful food for iron. And some diseases or conditions can also limit iron absorption. And this can happen as a result of insufficient stomach acid, lack of intrinsic factor. We can see this in celiac disease, inflammatory conditions such as Crohn's disease, and in autoimmune diseases and hormone imbalances. Women, children, and the elderly are most at risk. How do you know if your body is not absorbing iron? We have Common signs and symptoms include tiredness, pale skin, feeling short of breath, and dry and damaged hair and skin. If you think you have these symptoms, please talk to your doctor. Self-diagnosing is not recommended. Iron deficiency can cause anemia, which can further cause severe complications. So that's it for today. If you find it helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends. Take care.